Enceladus, my home, a tiny jewel of the solar system. At the dawn of the 190th century, the children of mankind remain divided. Endless wars are fought within the solar system that birthed humanity, pitting world against world. The reasons for conflict are lost to history, but it continues nonetheless. Desperate for any advantage, the children of man play God, creating genetically modified soldiers to fight on their behalf. They call us angels. I was told that I wouldn't dream when I entered the angelic womb, that I wouldn't feel a thing while I underwent my metamorphosis. But I did feel something. I felt space, emptiness, the void between the stars. I drifted through the void into nothingness. It must have been a dream. And just as fast as it began, it ended. Did a minute pass? Or a hundred years? I can't tell. I woke up with a single thought. A thought that consumes my mind. Break through the light. Break free. It feels primordial. Something I can't control. My hands reach out into the light. I can feel the cold air from the outside. I'm born for the second time. Angel, are you awake? She called me Angel. That must mean my metamorphosis was a success, right? Do you remember where you are? That's the symbol of the chapel. It protects Enceladus by creating beings like me. They call us angels. We enter the metamorphosis cells as regular humans, but awaken as something else entirely. After thousands of years of genetic engineering research, the children of mankind are able to create super beings. It's an android. Androids are here to protect us, but they're also here to make sure we follow orders. They're able to kill an angel in the moments after we awaken. We're weak at first, but once that time passes, we become too powerful to stop. It can still kill me. That's the only reason why it's still here. I don't remember. Please tell me. You're at the chapel's metamorphosis facility. Your metamorphosis was a success. We awakened you. Or rather, triggered your instinct for you to hatch from your cell. The time has finally come for you to experience this world through the eyes of an angel. Angels are only awakened if there's a threat to our world. You are aware that angels like you are awakened only when there's a threat to Enceladus. We don't want to waste your sacrifice on anything less. Your life is too precious. Is Enceladus being attacked? What are we waiting for then? Tell me, I don't want to waste any more time. Please, calm down. We're not being attacked, but we're not entirely secure either. Rather than going into battle, we awakened you to negotiate. Negotiate? I don't understand. Surely I didn't undergo the metamorphosis just to talk. Unfortunately, there has been an incident. Your awakening was planned. We triggered your instincts, and you hatched. The chapel awaited you. But that can't be said about... Her. Her? One of your kind has awakened differently, spontaneously, on her own. Her name is Ashley. She woke up due to an error. A malfunction. She panicked and fled the facility. An angel on the run? 